Hi everyone, my name is JT Pilot and today we'll be making another 1.4 scale model review. This time we'll be doing an in-depth review of this Gemini Jets Delta Connection Bombardier ACR J-900. This aircraft is operated by SkyWest and this is the Gemini Jets January 2024 re-release. So this is the third production of a Ge Gemini Jets Delta Connection CRJ-900 and this model does look familiar. It, yeah, if it does look familiar to you, yes it is indeed. It was indeed produced at the same time as the previous release, and I'll go more over that in this video, the previous 2021 release. This model ha is pretty disappointing in my opinion, but not surprising um, in general. Uh, it's, it's just some aspects of it that, that I'm just scratching my head about this asking why Gemini just decided to push this model out. Uh, yeah, right now it looks good, but you'll see more um, some of the flaws later on in this video. So, First, I'd like to welcome everybody to this video, and once again, I'm JT Pilot. So this is how I do review videos. I reviewed the box of the model first, then we do an in-depth analysis of the model. Then at the end of the video, this model will be getting a score on the JT, will be receiving a score on the JT scale. So nonetheless, let's start off with the box. And all right, so start off the box of this model. So this is your typical Gemini Jets regional jet box. So on the top left, we had the 25th anniversary logo there. So I'm pretty excited that Gemini Jets had a 25th anniversary last year. So, th so this model, was packaged for last year, according to that box, according to the logo. There is the CJ image of this aircraft. There's a Mobaria CJ-900 title, the Delta Airlines logo there. And then, you're seeing onto the inside of the flap. So here we got, here we got some information about this aircraft. Feel free to pause here if you'd like to read to learn more information about this aircraft. So here we have the bottom of the box, right side of the box, top of the box. Die number, which is GJDAL2029. Left side of the box, and then here we have the back of the box, and we have the CJM, which as well as it gets features, generator to social medias, and the copyright. And our right, so proceeding on to the in depth analysis of the model. All right, so strong enough to, strong enough to know this section smells. So here we have the nose of the model with the copy wins. This section looks great. Not really too many, not too many complaints about it. So there, so we got the Weber down there. We got some static ports and pedo tubes down there. And then we got the nose landing gear door that with the CRG 900 titles on the gear door. This area looks good, and the landing gear could be a little bit more detailed, but they're fine. So here we have the L1 door right there. We have the Delta Connection logo and the Sky Team logo right there. And if you haven't noticed, there is no 3D aerials on this model, unlike some of the other Gemini CRJs, which is pretty unfortunate. Even though they are oversized, I really wish they just wouldn't include them on this model. Just make it look a little more realistic, but that's another thing you can tell. That's one of the main aspects of this model at, that you can tell that this model was previously made back in 2021 with the other Delta CRJ under release, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, you'll see some more um, quality flaws later. So we got some passenger windows there. We... And then we here we got some mercy escape doors. Then we got the winglet of the aircraft. The winglet's looking good. No, no complaints about it. Then we got some mercy escape halves on the wing. And we got the landing lights down there. And then the wing joint area right here. It's just, it's okay. There's a little seam there, but other than that, it's okay. Here we got the United States flag with the restoration, which is number 800 Sierra Kilo or number 800 Sierra Kilo. We got the engines right there and the in the tail section of this model. And the horizontal stabilizers are a little angled up like on the previous release, so that's pretty unfortunate. But other than that, that is it for the left side of the aircraft. So proceeding on to the back side of this aircraft. So here's the back side of the aircraft. With the APU exhaust and the horizontal stabilizers and vertical stabilizers. This area looks just fine. And alright, so proceeding on to the arguably the most disappointing model is the bottom section of this aircraft. But First off, we'll just start off the nose landing gear section. So here we got the nose landing gear section, and this area looks fine. Then here we got the wing landing gear, and this section is really disappointing on this aircraft. And yes, the gears, yeah, they're backwards. They're put on the wrong way. Like, this, seriously? Um, yeah, just like the first, uh, just like the second rendition in 2021, they're put on backwards. So the wing landing gear is put on backwards there. So, it's, so we got the gear door in the wrong spot. So if this, yeah, if this were used in real life or this exact um model the gear door yeah the gears were closed in the wrong way so yeah that's pretty disappointing there um they're slightly better than my other release which i'll show i'll, I'll show a little comparison later on this video they're similar to my other delta crg 900 release but at least this release they're straight unlike the other one where they're all j and crooked so that's pretty unfortunate really disappointing there so here's the generator's logo 
And then we got a um, stand hold there in the bottom of the wings and the bottom of the tail. So here the front side is falling, and you can see the inside of the engines there. And the nose cone, nose cone's a little slanted, but over that, this area looks perfect. So here the right side of the aircraft is the same exact, it's exactly the same as the other side of the aircraft, but it does not have the battery tools the other side did, so that's a little difference in the CRJ, but this time we got the R1 door there, and yeah, and we got the tail portion of this aircraft, so that is it. And that is it for the model itself. All right, so doing a quick comparison of this release compared to the previous release. So, yeah, so, yeah, your eyes do see it correctly. They're about the same. The only difference is they got different registrations. So, so here we have the new release here, 800 Sierra Kilo. And we got the old 2021 release, number 821 Sierra Kilo. Um, the differences, so here's the tails. Um, the older release did have more angled stabilizers, and that would be reflected in the score of the new one, so... The new version does have better stabilizers, but the most disappointing part, sorry about seeing my, the most disappointing part is the gears, they're still in the wrong way. So here we have the old release there and the new release, and they do look exactly the same. They're the, they're the wrong way. So yeah, that's pretty disappointing. And my old release, the gears are a little tilted there, so that's pretty unfortunate. Um, other than that, these models, they're about the same. Um, I mean, the gears, gear portion is the same. But other than that, the models are basically the same, so just pick your poison, I guess. Um, yeah, the releases are about, yeah, they're just, they're really about the same, which is pretty disappointing, especially when this model has been released a total of three years later. And generally, just, they could have fixed the criticisms on it. They could have at least put the gear on right, you know? Maybe they could have went through the factory and just, you know, fixed it, but nope. Nope, yeah, they did not fix it. So that's pretty disappointing, and yeah, it's now reflected in the JT score. And all right, so proceeding on to the JT score portion of this model, so... Yes, this model did, it did find on the JT score. I just wanted to mention some of the main criticisms. So, the fuselage portion of this model only received a 9 out of 10. Just because that wing joint area could be improved a little bit, but it doesn't really bother me too much. I just wanted to mention it. No section this model received a 10 out of 10. Oddly enough, the nose is a little bit better on this model than the previous release. The tail portion of this model is receiving a 9 out of 10. The stabilizers are, are still too angled, or the elevators, whatever you want to call them. They're still too angled, but they're better than the previous release. The wings received a 10 out of 10. The landing gear received a 6 out of 10. That, just the wing landing gears is terrible. It's really terrible. I would give it a lower score but if they're crooked, but at least they're straight. It, and it's hardly noticeable, but it is noticeable when you just flip them all over. So they're just getting a 6 out of 10. But Germany just has gotten a few 10 out of 10s in a row on the JT score with the engines, delivery, and the details all receiving a 10 out of 10 on this model. The aerials have just received a 7 out of 10. Maybe in the older days, I would give it an 8 out of 10. But in today's age, Gemini just could put aerials on the CRJs, but they decide not to, so that's pretty unfortunate. Collectability of this model is a 10 out of 10, but been a highly requested re release. The QC is, has no points for me. Then the final score is a 91 out of 108 minus and 91%. And alright, folks, that does conclude this review, and you will be seeing some outdoor photos of this model. So, my final thoughts about this model it's just okay. It just has the same QC, I mean, it has the same just issues of the previous release. And including backwards landing gear and um and a high angle stabilizer. So that's really unfortunate. But other than that, it's a pretty decent release if you want a Delta Sierra and one in one four hundred you're pretty much your only choice. So that is pretty unfortunate. But anyways, I'm JT Pilot and I'd like to thank y'all so much for watching this video and have a wonderful day. Bye.